competitor, isn't it? She just doesn't seem intimidating when she's in the water out here. Yeah. But you talk to her on the beach, and she's just like, I don't know. You know, she's just so anxious. And it's like, but she's been putting in the time and clocking the hours, and she looks a little more. No. Yeah. It's like trying to merge on the freeway backwards with a blindfold on. Yeah, sure. with people that don't like to let you merge, like <laughs> LA traffic. Wow, we got Joanne DeFay. Another expertly ridden wave at back door. Joanne DeFay is on fire, answering back to Molly wow. Picklin's wow. last wave. Answering. Talking. Here we go, having a look at this one on the inside. Looks like we'll get the round of 16 started, wearing the red jersey from Reunion Island. Joanne DeFay just an under the lip move there just to project down the line waiting for her first major turn there's the front side whip off the top DeFay looks at an ag Woo! aggressive approach to finish they've accomplished a lot in their non-priority part of the heat and they still have so much time just under a half hour really for Tyler Malia as a gorgeous peak is standing up setting a beautiful wall up for Joanne DeFay just kind of feeling her way back to the power source, driving up into the lip, clean snap. Solid bottom turn, really heavy on that back foot. Now she's into some full water. That these surfers get to train at. Joanne DeFay looking for the cover up, dragging that hand and she ducks through, now going for that finish. Slams nice. it on with a huge turn. That was a 6.50. This is Joanne DeFay up and riding little drifting snap to start things off and uh, as you mentioned Shannon uh, Joanne's just had so much success over these last few years she walked away with a number five finish in the world she's actually had three top five finishes out of her previous seven seasons in the champion on the championship tour so she's really been a consistent threat for those world titles and will be looking for that again with a solid start to her year nice turn to start things off oh. with goes powerful and progressive on the second up into the lip on the third and this wave is bowling up for her so nicely as it's just hugging that reef goes for the layback on the finish it is pretty crazy to think of the other names that could have world titles like a joanne defay but who has been held back from steph from carissa's recent victories as we see joanne with a beautiful wave selection nice wrap to start things off great snap up into the pocket this wave continuing to unfold for her as she comes through that inside section. Decent size wave. Now with that pocket to finish off. Wow. And feeling it. A chandelier cascading bunch of white water that she couldn't get around. And look what's behind her. Yeah, Joanne DeFay. It just set her up perfectly to connect with this wave. A little less bump on the face thanks to that first wave in the set. And the surfer from Reunion Island just plugs the uh, end section there with a nice little floating re-entry. There, so not a bad looking wave. Live action with Joe. Solid open face, and how was that big turn to start for DeFay? A quicker one just reacting to that section. DeFay and Bronte McCauley. Joe Trapel with the defending g -Land champ, Luke Egan, for the call. Already got things started with Joanne DeFay, Louis. Joanne, some beautiful top turns to start with, and this wave at a perfect speed coming around. Another big out of the top. We may have a, a rider up at the moment. It's Joanne DeFay. She's found a bit of a corner here. Nice little swoop off the top, this wave. A better pace than Courtney's, and it's allowing her to get some turns done. Needs something major on the inside, though, if she wants to push this number a little higher. Just really looking to finish this one off strong here on the inside. Gets that board up there one more time. And she likes the feel she of that. She did like it. A lot of fun to watch. The Quicksilver Icons of Surf Expression session later on. But during Luke's little run through of that incredible quiver, Joanne DeFay. Uh, she's been looking really comfortable lately, kind of traveling on her own with her boyfriend and trusting her instincts in the last couple of events here. Watching Joanne DeFay now get started. Big, powerful backside hack. Bottom drops out. That looks like Joanne DeFay making her move. And this is wave number three, already has the lead, but is trying to get rid of a 2.3. She's already done it on this wave. And there's a nice combination. Again, a solid finish, riding high on that wave. You know what? Amongst the tour, everyone can do pretty much all the stuff these days. Yeah, it's so true. The caliber of talent, it's unbelievable. Wrapping turn to start for Joanne Faye. 
Wide open face again. She'll carve it into the pocket. Nice, easy pace on this right. Well, she picked this up under priority. This is a, a, a smart move. Incredibly smart. How's this inside section? She jams it with authority. Pulling out these tricks and and uh, and maneuvers that we've never seen from her. Yeah, it's been uh, so much fun to see. Joanne DeFay now having a look here. Small scores on the board so far, so looking for that first real wave to unleash on. Nice vertical turn to start. More open face wrap for the second. And now connects through as this wave continues to stand up for her and hug the rocks. Nice combo through that middle part of the wave and she'll put that finish on. She just looks so steady wow. on her feet all the time. She hand in quarterfinal matchups specifically, Sal's also got the upper hand. So if Joe can get it back, they'll be tied in the quarterfinal matchups. And an incredible opening turn now finds that rail for the second section and continues to blow it down the line, wow. finding so much speed, so much power and connection. She just looks so in rhythm here at Punta Roca. Today, and uh, I, I definitely think we're going to see her. She's been she's been nailing them, and uh, wow, as we see Joanne on a really nice clean bomb. Beautiful wave selection from DeFay. Nice couple wraps to start with. Just finding a nice pace as this wave continues to bowl up for her on the inside section, adding in that variety, different types of turns. Throws a bit of spray out the back on that one, and now jams it in, tries to go for that layback on the lip, and just something went wrong. Right behind her, Joanne DeFay looking to capitalize on a mistake from Carissa Moore. Two big turns out the back, looking for a strong finish. Another, this wave is the gift that keeps on giving, and Joanne DeFay keeps on taking, and right there, she is going to extend her lead. Welcome back to the Corona Open, J-Bay, as we'll pick up live vision here of your world number two, Joanne DeFay from France, up and slicing off the top, just throws in a little jam for the open and turn, clips the lip and keeps that rhythm as she'll swoop down the line here at Jeffries Bay, maintaining speed and maintaining aggression throughout this one. Just kind of drags that tail through that turn and goes up to get the finish crucial here.